Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 54. One day, tired out from all these uncertainties, I asked Jesus, Jesus, are you my God, or some kind of phantom? Because my superiors say that there are all sorts of illusions and phantoms. If you are my Lord, I beg you to bless me. Then Jesus made a big sign of the cross over me, and I too signed myself. When I asked pardon of Jesus for this question, he replied that I had in no way displeased him by this question, and that my confidence pleased him very much. 1933, Spiritual Counsel Given Me by Father Andras, S.J. First, you must not turn away from these interior inspirations, but always tell everything to your confessor. If you recognize that these interior inspirations refer to your own self, that is to say, they are for the good of your soul or for the good of other souls, I urge you to follow them, and you must not neglect them, but always do so in consultation with your confessor. Second, if these inspirations are not in accord with the faith or the spirit of the church, they must be rejected immediately as coming from the evil spirit. Third, if these inspirations do not refer to souls in general, nor specifically to their good, you should not take them too seriously, and it would be better to even ignore them. But you should not make this decision by yourself, either one way or the other, as you can easily be led astray, despite these great favors from God. Humility, humility, and every humility, as we can do nothing of ourselves. All is purely and simply God's grace. You say to me that God demands great trust from souls, well then, you be the first to show this trust. And one more word, accept all this with serenity. Words of one of the confessors. Sister, God is preparing many special graces for you, but try to make your life as clear as crystal before the Lord, paying no attention to what anyone else thinks about you. Let God suffice you, he alone. Toward the end of my novitiate, a confessor, perhaps Father Theodore, told me, go through life doing good, so that I could write on its pages, she spent her life doing good. May God bring this about in you. Another time, the confessor said to me, comport yourself before God like the widow in the gospel. Although the coin she dropped into the box was of little value, it counted far more before God than all the big offerings of others. On another occasion, the instruction I received was this, Act in such a way that all those who come in contact with you will go away joyful. So happiness about you, because you have received much from God, give then generously to others. They should take leave of you with their hearts filled with joy, even if they have no more than you have if they have no more than touched the hem of your garment keep well in mind the words i am telling you right now still another time he gave me the following recommendation let god push your boat out into the deep waters towards the unfathomable depths of the interior life here are a few words from a conversation i had with the mother directress, Mary Joseph, toward the end of my novitiate. Sister, let simplicity and humility be the characteristic traits of your soul. Go through life like a little child, always trusting, always full of simplicity and humility, content with everything, happy in every circumstance. There, where others fear, you will pass calmly along thanks to this simplicity and humility. Remember this, sister, for your whole life. As waters flow from the mountains down into the valleys, 
so too do God's graces flow only into humble souls. In this passage, St. Faustina wants to be certain that Jesus is Jesus and not an illusion or the devil. Jesus blesses her and he reassures her. Throughout our lives, we will have to discern the spirits to make sure that an inspiration comes from God and is not a trick of the evil one. Here, St. Faustina includes advice that she received from a number of her confessors, including the Jesuit father Joseph Andrash. His advice here is very helpful. Always consulting the confessor is very important. We can be tempted to not say something to the confessor because we're afraid we will look foolish. But wrestling with these difficult things ourselves without the objective of a holy confessor or spiritual director can lead to confusion. The other good advice is to trust God to go forward with serenity, simplicity, and humility, and also to pray. Uh, one of the confessors says, go toward the deep waters of the interior life to pray, because God will help us. God is our Father, and He doesn't want us to be lost. He doesn't want us to be confused. He wants us to know where we're going. God is in charge, and He will get us through every challenge. <laughs>